Welcome back to the Momentum Victory weekly encouragement video where we just take a few minutes each and every week to encourage you to be the man of God that you're created to be. This week I got my man Luke Pack back yeah. in, second yeah. time glad, on. Glad to be back. Man, yeah, it's awesome. such an honor. I love having this guy bring a word because it's powerful, guys. And, and so I'm just excited. So let's not waste time. Let's just get into this week's word. So grab your Bible, grab your notebook, and let's hear a powerful word from this man for you guys to be encouraged today. Hey guys, glad to be back uh, and, uh, and share some things that the Lord's had on my heart um, recently, mm -hmm. and <laughs> I got my shoe with me. Uh, <laughs> this is kind of kind of different, but so in the morning when I get dressed, I'm trying to be as quiet as possible because uh, I don't want to wake up Jillian or anybody. Yeah, we want it silence. Okay, right. so I tiptoe. I don't turn on any lights, at least as least amount as possible. Well, so lately I've been putting my shoes on. Obviously, not my tennis shoes. I put my dress shoes on. But I'm putting them on in the dark, and so I am fumbling with the shoelace every single morning. And all of a sudden, one morning, this thought hits me, you're trying to untie things without the light on, mm. and it makes it very difficult. We try to figure it out. So I've got one lace that's going one direction, and I have to relace it, or trying to get everything organized. It's just been extremely difficult. And when the Lord showed me that, I was like, wow, what 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 kinds of things am I doing in the dark that require the light? And uh, 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 what what maybe things are tied up or bound up that really require the light Absolutely. Um, to, to to, to really get them untied, get exactly. them unstuck, right. you know, in a sense. So, and I was just reminded of uh, of Hebrews um, chapter 12. It says, therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight in the sin which so easily entangles us and let us run with endurance the race that is set before us, looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, for who the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and has sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. So obviously we, 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 we all get stuck. We all have things that, that kind of entangle our feet at, at various different times. And the temptation is to try to fix it, to try to get untangled ourselves. And not saying that we, we can't at different points in time, but sometimes, man, as we experience, it just takes a brother. Mm -hmm. uh, James talks about how we can confess our sins to one another Absolutely. that we might be healed. Right. Um, um, you know, and in and, and John, uh, it talks about how the light, Jesus, the light came into the world and the darkness could not comprehend it. Mm -hmm. Guys, when we bring things into the light, the darkness cannot do anything about it. Jesus is the light. He is the victor. It is by his shed blood. It's by his victory on the cross that we are even offered freedom, that we're offered forgiveness. And so we can take these things to him. We can pull in a brother to agree with us, to pray for us, to encourage us, to challenge us and hold us accountable. Yep. And that will help us to lace these babies up the way that they're supposed to, to keep our shoes on, to, to get unstuck that we can continue to run this race that God has called us to. And he has called you to run this race, not to sit on the sidelines and watch people. Okay, so that's my encouragement for you guys today. Thank you so, so much for listening. Man, what a, what a powerful word. I mean, I'm just pumped right now, man. I'm like, let's do this. Let's, do let's this. go through yeah. the walls. Let's, let's, let's win people to Christ. Yes. We put light on this and that's the beauty. We, we always say it hey, I, I, I need to put some light on something. What we're saying is, I need to bring something out from the darkness into the light so our brothers can help us. And it goes to the James scripture. Yeah. Confess your sins to one another so you may be healed. Yeah. We do that because as men, we need that. We need each mm -hmm. other. We need that strength and courage so we can lace it up mm -hmm. and we can all together in unity move forward and win people to Christ. That's right. That's change right. our families, yep. change our community, and change the local church. That's right. And that's what we're doing as men. Amen. So, Amen. Dude, powerful that's word. Awesome. Pray for Great. these guys. All right, let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you for every man that is watching this video. 
because you know them by name. Mm -hmm. uh, you know every thought that they think, God. You know the, the things that are going on in their hearts. Lord, the struggles that they are afraid to talk to somebody about. Uh, God, I pray that you would give them courage, uh, that they would reach out to a brother, reach out to a pastor, and, uh, and Lord, to, to be healed, to mm -hmm. confess that, to not give up, uh, but to trust, God, that you are a loving Father, that you are, you are a loving Father, and that you will care for them and that you will help them uh, as they rely on you. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, that was just another powerful word from the men of victory from this guy. Appreciate this man. Love this guy. Him and his family are just precious. And so, guys, give him a high five. Give him a fist bump this weekend. But, man, we just completed last week. We had our one-year anniversary. Awesome. So you are... Episode hey. 53. Yeah, Season 2 okay. is here for the Men of Victory, and we are back better than ever. And what a great way to kick awesome. off these this new yes. year for these guys. That's and right. so, But we got a men's night out coming up. Oh, Ooh, yeah. yeah. Okay, we, yeah. June. June, June okay. 17th, Friday night. Guys, right. we're going to have our men's night out. Awesome. Uh, free food. It's going to be a great time of fellowship. Uh, we get to just sharpen each other, hang with guys like, mm -hmm. like Luke and others in the church, mm -hmm. and, and really just bring things to light and yeah. have fun. Yeah, have you fun. Know? Laughter yeah. is a good medicine, it is. and we need that as men. And so, guys, be part of that, and we'll see you next week for our weekly mm -hmm. word of encouragement from the Men of Victory.